Hey guys, welcome to part two of MetaMask video series. And in the first video, you learn what MetaMask wallet is, how to set up MetaMask wallet for the first time. But the problem with that setup is that you are setting it up on a desktop browser. And if you know that your system could be hacked, that means your seed word, which is the password for your accessing your wallet, might be revealed to uh, unauthorized party. The probability of that happening is still there. I know your system is secure. You might be using antivirus or you might be using Mac system, but there are there is a possibility that your seed word might be revealed by uh, revealed to somebody else, and and which is not very secure for your crypto asset. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is to use a hardware wallet. And what happens here is if you connect your MetaMask with your hardware wallet, basically it would be using the hardware security of your hardware wallet. And to allow any transaction, you need to uh, give permission from your hardware wallet. You need to allow the, you know, press the hardware key to allow any transaction to happen. This actually makes your transaction very secure. And if you have not actually had a hardware wallet yet, I highly recommend you to buy any one of the hardware wallet like Ledger Nano X or Trezor. You'll find the link in the description. We have a detailed guide on how to, you know, on hardware wallet on Coin Sutra. And we also have a detailed tutorial series on how to use a hardware wallet. Now with that, in this video, you are going to learn how to connect a hardware wallet with MetaMask. And in this case, I'm using a Ledger Nano X, but you can also use Trezor or any other wallet using the same method. So here is how it works. So very first thing you would be doing is you'd be accessing your MetaMask wallet. Now I'm using Brave browser. You can use Chrome, Firefox or Edge, any browser. It, the process remains the same. So very first thing you would be doing is you'll also be connecting your uh, hardware wallet with your system, with your computer, laptop, iMac, whatever you're using. And let's open the hardware wallet. So I'm just connecting my hardware wallet. And after connecting hardware wallet, you basically open the Ethereum app, especially if you're using Legend Nano X, just open the Ethereum app. And then here, click on this icon and click on connect hardware wallet. You have two options, Ledger or Trezor. So we'll select Ledger, click on connect. And then it will be looking for your Ledger wallet. So as you can see, it has connected to my Ledger wallet. Now I can select the account and click on unlock. And that's it. Now I'm connected to my Ledger wallet and you can always switch between your Ledger wallet or your default browser wallet from here. And this is your Ledger wallet address. You can again go to view on Etherscan to see all the tokens or all the uh, Ethereum or all the other ERC20 token that you have received on your wallet, which you have interacted on your Ledger wallet. Well, the, and this is actually how easy it is. Now, the one very important thing here is, let's say we again go back to Uniswap and then we disconnect from here. We click on change and then we click on MetaMask. Okay. Mm, all right. Let's see how we... Mm -hmm. All right. So this one is not happening. I, there is no option of logging out which is pretty shame I mean should be there okay so what we'll do is we'll go to Bancor or which is another uh, very popular uh, you know liquidity provider platform and I'm looking into it so what you can do is you can click on connect wallet select MetaMask and now it will ask you, you need to select from which wallet you want, which address you want to collect. So if you remember, the first one is our simple browser extension wallet. The next one is Ledger wallet. And we select the Ledger wallet. We click on next, click on connect. And that's it, it's connected. So now you'll be able to see or make transaction using your wallet. Now, what's changed here is like once I uh, allow any transaction, like any, if I add, provide a liquidity or do a swap, I need to click allow on my hardware wallet rather than on the MetaMask browser only, which adds another layer of security and something that I highly recommend you to start using with your MetaMask wallet. And that's that's a way to start using your MetaMask wallet with a hardware wallet. Now, uh, this video is for the Ledger Nano X, but if you are using Trezor and you need help with that, feel free to let me know. The one very important thing when you are on your uh, Ledger Nano X and you have opened the Ethereum wallet, 
go to settings and in the settings cell under contract data select the option which says allow contract data in transaction allowed that is the only way your you know the transaction would go through otherwise you'll you'll get uh you'll get warning or you'll get an error while making a transaction so this is another thing that you should be doing while uh, using ledger nano x with metamask and that's how you can connect hardware wallet with your ledger nano x with that guys i'll see you in the next video if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you find this video useful do like and share this video with your friends it would help them to learn and understand all about uh, defi how to use cryptocurrency and help them you know help them understand and learn about crypto asset as well now with that i'll see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh from coin sutra